Before we can use Elster to file our tax return, we have to register for an account. So in this video, I'll show you step by step how we can do that by using a digital certificate. First, go to the Elster website and click on the button Benutzer Condo Estelin or create an account. Now you need to select the authentication method which you would like to use to log into the website. This is a way for the finance arm to know you are who you say you are. And we can use one of these four methods. Authentication with a digital certificate would be the easiest and the safest way. Your credential will be stored in a certificate file on your computer and that can be used to log into your account. You can also use your personal ID with a chip but then you need to either buy a card reader or use the Housewise app on your phone. You can check this video if you want to know more. There are two more options either using a security USB stick or a signature card which are more relevant for companies and tax advisors. First we will select the option to authenticate with the certificate data. Now on the next page, you need to specify whether you want to create a personal account for yourself or you want to do it on behalf of someone else. So we select the option for Mish, that means for myself and then click white up. Now you must select whether you want to identify with a store identification number or an email ID. Select the store ID option unless you don't have a store ID yet. Store ID is a 11 digit number and this can be found in every letter sent by the finance amp or in your loan store bashanigung that is provided by your employer. Now enter some personal information like your email address, your date of birth, the identification number, your name for your account and a security question and answer in case you forget your password and want to retrieve it. Now accept the conditions and click on Viter. Here you can see some information about the further process. Now we click on Proofen and then we go to a summary page where we can verify our details again and then send it to tax office by clicking the up send and button. Now you will get an email shortly in your inbox with a verification link that can be used to verify your email ID. And now to activate the account you need an ID and a code. The ID will be sent over by email and the code will be sent over by post to the address where you are registered. After a few days you will get this letter with the activation code. Once you get both the activation ID and the code, you can click on the link in the email with the activation ID to start the activation process. And here you can enter the ID and code and then click on upsend in. Now you get the option to generate a certificate data. You should enter here a strong password and again re-enter that in the second field. Now giving a name for the certificate data is optional, you can skip that. You can click on Estelin to generate the certificate. Now the certificate is generated and you can download it to your computer by clicking on the button Certificate Data Herunterladen. Keep this file safe on your computer so that you can use it along with your password to log into your Elster account. Once we have the certificate, we can go to the Elster login page and select the certificate by clicking on the button that says Dursh Suhe or search. Now enter your password and click on login. When you log in for the first time, you will be asked to enter personal details, your store number, etc. You can enter the details, save the profile and click on Viter. Now you will be asked in which category you belong to. Select private person and click on Viter. Now you see a short info from the tax office that you don't have to attach receipts to finance amount unless explicitly asked for. Now you can acknowledge that you have read this by marking the checkbox Gelesen and then clicking on Bestetigen und Viter. And that will get you to your home page where you can do the tax declaration. And to do that, you can watch this video where I explain step by step how to do your tax declaration with Elster and get your money back. And if you think, and only if you think you got some value from this video, please click on the like button and think of subscribing to the channel. Until I see you with another video, stay safe, stay happy and bye.